Howdy. Here I am... chopping down a tree... and almost destroying my new camera. Building a retaining wall and also a fence. So this is day one. I really didn't have a plan. I just went to Lowe's and bought as much as I could carry. And now I'm in my backyard basically experimenting. I've never built a retaining wall nor a fence, so it can be somewhat of a challenge. I just want to verify that I can at least level one block in the ground. That right there is a tamp and a flat shovel and a level. You're going to need those. Now here we are out in my front yard where everyone can see. And I have set up these stakes. They're eight feet apart in preparation for the fence that I have planned. That top cap, that's a block, a top cap, is the location that I believe it will be in. Now that tape measure is to the property line of my neighbor, so I don't have a lot of room. Right now I'm optimistic, but I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit concerned as to what I bit off. But there's no turning back once you start. So no fear. No fear. We press forward one step at a time. That was the GX with no bumper. So right here I'm measuring out with my new measuring tape from my house. I took a measurement from the back of the house and from, from the front of the house. So the uh, fence will be square with the house. Or perpendicular I believe is the word. Now here we go. I was going to buy these, uh, this is three quarter inch crushed stone, I w blue stone. I was going to buy that in bags from the store. Um, I quickly found out that was not possible. Uh, so I had it delivered by a truck. Uh, right here, here's the Lowe's guy dropping off, uh, I believe that was four... Uh, pallets full of, uh, the, that was my wall, the wall blocks. Now here I am outside at uh, 11 o'clock doing a laser. My neighbors think I'm crazy and honestly, I don't care. So amateur over here, but I'm doing the best I can. I got all the blocks laid out just to get a general idea of what I'm looking at. And again, now I'm starting to feel even more nervous because this is looking like a big, uh, big job for one guy. But again, no fear. Just keep pressing forward one step at a time. As you can see, I got my stone in the blocks, the pallets. And uh, yeah, step by step, we're making progress. Now, this is where the flat shovel is 100% necessary because you don't want to go deeper than your base. You don't want to disturb the soil deeper than your base. And here's a hand tamp, tamping everything down. Now here's one of the first biggest challenges uh, I encountered right on the corner, which is a very important spot for the structure stability wise I encountered this massive boulder which doesn't look that big but I promise you I mean it's it's awkward and probably uh, it had to have been at least a hundred pounds uh, but I used the old trustworthy Tundee pulled her out easy step right over that barrier blast right through the obstacles but yep got to make sure your base on the corner is solid so we got that stone out or boulder back to digging I can tell you right now my forearms got shredded 
during this project. My back got shredded and my soul got shredded. I don't know if you can see in this video, but the stones are wet. Where I'm digging, you definitely want to wet those down with a hose just because of the dust. It's still dusty, but, you know, do the best you can. Now the base for your wall is going to be the most important, so make sure you have a, a nice crushed stone base pack that down make sure everything's level step by step we're making some good progress here right there I'm carrying a that's a uh, perforated drainage pipe I'll be using that later on to pallet 2 making progress feeling good You see right there, those uh, blocks are, you fill them with the stones. You fill the core with the stone. Now here I am again, nighttime. I don't even know what time it is, 12, 1 in the morning. Now here's a little curveball I got thrown. As you can see, all these blocks are being laid out right 1 in the morning, like a nut job. But the reason for that is, is because curveball the uh, blocks on the different pallets different sizes so in order to make sure your wall is straight and level you have to have each layer of the wall the same size so I had to lay them all out and you know just a bit of a challenge to overcome now here I'm having some uh, fill delivered different company uh, than the stone but um, yeah just getting her done admiring my uh, work so far still got a long way to go but there's no turning back now Oh, and I bought a camper as well, so that's new. I love that thing. My home away from home. Like I said, my forearms are getting shredded. I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, now here's uh, curveball number two of many. The blocks had, uh, I'm not complaining, but the blocks have these um, these little edges that need to be busted off with a cold chisel or else a wall won't sit flat. Um, and that's just when they're made in the mold. I'm not complaining. Would I buy this type of block again? Absolutely not. Each block had to have the bottom chiseled off. Uh, so four of four-ish pallets of blocks. Um, now here's that perforated pipe I was showing you and it's encapsulated in a uh, mesh landscaping fabric. So the water goes through the fabric and it goes through the stone and then uh, eventually you'll see later I have a sump basin where the water can go into. Now all of that was somewhat overkill, it's a four foot wall, uh, but if I'm gonna do, put this much effort in, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it right. Now here's where I made a bit of a, or I had a bit of a, an epiphany. I was backfilling the wall with the wheelbarrow and um, I'm just cutting the corner blocks there. They needed to be trimmed 45 degree angles. But as I was saying, I was backfilling this and I realized I was, it was gonna take me years. So I ordered the Dingo from, or I rented the Dingo from Home Depot, which, you know, the Dingo became my best friend, me and the Dingo. If you ever have an opportunity to ride one of these things, You'd think it would be cheap, but they co I think they cost like 30, 40 grand. So anyways, the dingo was huge. 
thought the whole thing backfilled pretty uh, easily. And uh, yeah, keeping keeping the progress growing, going. Say goodbye to the dingo, which is bittersweet. I honestly wish I could have kept it. I needed it. Maybe one day I'll uh, be able to afford one. Now I get some grass seed down and back to digging. I got stumps over here I'm dealing with. I got a sweet do rag now because it's hot. It's very hot out. Oh, there's another boulder. Now we're onto the fence. That's my corner post. And uh, my first base rail, making sure everything's level. And square and plumb. I got that cemented in, supported. I even use rebar, so that's not going anywhere. Here's my uh, first couple panels. I did a couple trips. Uh, but I got in this load, I think three panels and four posts, four or five posts. Just keep on chipping away. Of course, uh, another curveball. It's pouring rain out. No complaints. Keep uh, keep on going. A lot of traffic this day. People were driving by thinking I was crazy. And uh, like I said, you know, I think you got to be a little bit crazy to uh, tackle a project like this by yourself. So yeah, I'm out in the pouring rain building a fence. Progress. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I can see, uh, I can see the goal being accomplished. I still got a good ways to go, but, you know, at this point, you're, uh, well on your way. That's a bunch of concrete. I ended up, next time I'll be having concrete delivered, but there's that sump pump, uh, or basin, rather, I was talking about. I need to put a, an extension onto that pipe and it drains into there. But here we go. We're done. We finish privacy fence. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. And uh, please subscribe. Watch my next project. Thank you.